Thank you, everybody. Um, welcome. I'm calling to order this meeting on the Arlington Select Board on Thursday, June 16, 2022. I'm Select Board Chair Leonard Diggins, and I will now confirm that all members in person anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. Members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Diane Mahan? Yes. Um, John Hurd? Yes. Steve Corsi? Yes. Eric Helmuth? Yes. And, and Doug Heim? Yes. And, and uh, select board uh, administrators, Ashley Meyer is participating but not as a panelist. Tonight's meeting of the Arlington Select Board is being conducted remotely consistent with an act signed to law on February 15th, 2022 that extends certain COVID-19 measures. This act includes an extension until July 15th, 2022, uh, the remote meeting provisions of the Governor Baker's March 12th, 2020 executive order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law. The governor's order, which is on the town's website and referenced with agenda materials for this meeting, allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely as long as there is reasonable public access that allows the meeting to follow along with the deliberations. That allows the public to follow along with the deliberations. may be visible to others and that if you wish to participate, you are asked to provide your full name in the interest of developing a record of the meeting. Third, all participants are advised that people may be listening who do not provide comment and those persons are not required to identify themselves. Both Zoom participants and persons watching on ACMI can follow the posted agenda materials also found on the town's website using, using the notes agenda platform. And finally, each vote tonight will be taken by a roll call. I'll now turn to Vice Chair Ms. Mahan who will motion us into executive session. Ms. Mahan. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to A, move we enter into executive session for the purposes of discussing contract no negotiations with non-union M schedule personnel to wit Sandy Pooler and um, any other issues related thereto. And that when we adjourn from exec executive session, we will reconvene in public session for the purposes of either A, taking a vote and adjourning, or B, adjourning the public session meeting. Second. That was Mr. Hurd. Mr. Yes. Chair, is that the correct thing? Yes, yes, thank you. And that was Mr. Hurd, I heard seconding. Thank you. So on a motion by Mr. Mahad and a, and a second by Mr. Hurd. Mr. Heim? Mr. Hurd? Yes. Mr. Corsi? Yes. Mr. Hellman? Yes. Mrs. Mahan? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Diggins? Yes. Thank you. Vote. We're in executive session. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And so, so um, so here we are in public session. In and um, I think what we'll do now is take a motion, in which should indicate where we are, in and and then vote, in and then um, then have a little conversation, or we can have the little conversation before we vote. And so we'll take the motion, we do the second and then allow for discussion, then take the vote and then we can have more, more conversation. So Mr. Helmuth. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'd like to make a motion that the select board offer the contract uh, to Mr. Pooler as uh, agreed to in the final version and as discussed um, in our executive session. Second. Second by Mr. Hurd. So, so on a motion by Mr. Helmuth to accept the contract, being a second by Mr. Hurd. Um, is there any discussion? Okay. And, um, Mr. Heim. Mr. Hurd. Yes. Mr. DeCourcy. Yes. Mr. Helmer. Yes. Mrs. Mahan. Yes. Yeah. Mr. Diggins. Yes. It's unanimous vote. Thank you. And congratulations, Ms. Pooler. You know, welcome to the position of town manager. You know, I um I am excited and relieved. <laughs> and, 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 and uh it's uh uh and, and I'll tell you, it, I um, I think back to when I first started running for select board, and and one of the things to do was to talk uh, with folks in town 
and the, one of the key people was you um, in order to understand the financial state of the town and just how we looked at being, um, you know, financial matters. You know, and we were going over the long range um, plan. And, and I remember getting caught up on a couple of things, mean, and uh, you were just so patient in the way that you explained things, mean, uh, and I felt very comfortable with those conversations. And, and, and then later on, I found out that you taught. And then it was like, yes, that makes perfect sense. I mean, uh, that's why he's so good at explaining things and making people feel comfortable asking questions, you know, and, and so a, I appreciate that approach to things. I mean, and, and uh, I you know, have a lot of respect for teachers in general. Uh, and, and, and so uh, the fact that we have someone like you uh, in this role to me is comforting, you know, uh, both with respect to how I think you will interact uh, with the board, but also staff and the town, you know, and so, and I think you're a great resource, you know, um, under any circumstances, but certainly under the circumstances with which we find ourselves now. And uh, I, I'm really happy you know, to have you on board in this position. So I'm happy. <laughs> I don't know how many times I can say I'm happy, but but um, but thank you, I mean, um, and thanks to my colleagues, I me mean, for um for working um to to pull this all together. It's been it's really been a group effort, I mean, um, and I think everyone has um um has have served themselves well, I mean, um, in the process. So so um, I'll stop talking, I mean, and I'll let anyone else who wants to talk talk. Um, Ms. Mahan. Sorry, I can't get this phone thing right. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, what I'd like to is uh, take the opportunity um, to ask the town manager, Mr. Pooler, um, just for some sort of remarks and um, sort of, you know, what he expects in his first whatever 60, 90 days, you know, in terms of relationship with the board, um, as well as you know, Adam has a style, and I know that M Mr. Chapelain has a style, and and I know Mr. Pooler and he have been colleagues and worked together for many years. Um, but if you could just, you know, just give a little bit on that, and um, you know, Mr. Pooler, you and I will definitely have a sit down one on one because um, I want to, you know, set, continue to establish a good working relationship. So if I could, Mr. Chairman, through you, ask Mr. Pooler for him to speak first as a town manager. Yes, please. Um, thank you for the question. Um, first, if I may, I'd like to thank all the members of the board for this vote. Um, and uh, I know we went uh, a little while through the negotiation process, um, but I also know that uh, you were representing your uh, the town's interest and what you thought was best for the town and uh, for the future of the town. So I appreciate all the work that you put into this and um, I appreciate the resolution we've come to. When I first came to the town years ago, uh, it was um, because of Adam Chapdelaine um, and uh, I knew him and I knew he'd be a good person to work with. Uh, as I was here, I came to know um, the staff and what a great group of department heads we have and other staff. I came to know some of the committees, uh, particularly uh, the finance committee and the capital planning committee. Um, and I got to know the board a little bit, but not nearly as much as I'm looking forward to knowing you going forward. For me, I think this is an exciting adventure. I think this is a momentous year ahead of us for the town of Arlington and for all of the residents here. Uh, we know we have some profound financial challenges and uh, including uh, perhaps the need for an override coming up in the spring. And so I, I see a big part of my job is helping the board uh, and various other committees that work on financial issues through that. In terms of directly answering your question, Mrs. Mahan, and about um, where I see things going in the future, I've had a relationship with all the department heads and I know them at one level. 
but I now need to know them at a different and new level. So it is my intention to sit down with each of them and talk with them individually about their needs and their priorities. I did that when I first got here uh, as a finance uh, and uh, deputy town manager, but now I needed to do it again as a town manager. Um, I'm glad you mentioned the uh, opportunity for the two of us to sit down together and get to know each other a little better. I hope I have that opportunity with each of the five members of the board, uh, whether it's a phone call or having lunch together or just talking one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Um, I think communication between the manager and the select board is essential. Uh, I have statutory duties and, and town manager act duties um, that are defined in terms of managing the departments. But I think the, one, the most important thing I have is a relationship with U5 um, to talk about the direction and the priorities of the town. And um, I think that's, that's not a single conversation, that's an ongoing conversation that we'll have throughout the year. Um, so I'm looking forward to that very much. Um, Arlington is a great town. Um, it has great residents. It has great people um, volunteering on boards. Uh, it has a long history of good management. Um, and so I'm excited to be part of that. And I'm very excited to work with all of you. So I, I look forward to that. All right, looks like Mrs. Mahana sat me as Mr. Corsi. You're muted. I'm not hearing. You. Sorry, I started off there, and uh, I'll start again. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, yeah, I want to thank Mr. Pooler for uh, agreeing to take on the role uh, over the next year at, at, as town manager, and um, I appreciate the work that he has done for the town. And and he mentioned the finance committee, and uh, I was on the finance committee when when Mr. Pooler first began with the town and. He started coming to meetings with Mr. Chapdelaine, but very shortly into that, he was the representative at a lot of meetings. And, and so I have seen him field questions from finance committee members and present budgets and, and uh, respond to different inquiries that, that 21 different members may bring up from time to time. And I was always impressed with his uh, breadth of knowledge with that. And, and we are, as, as, as he mentioned, entering a very challenging time for our town um, fiscally um, because of the potential for an override either next spring or the spring afterwards. And, and there really is no one um, more qualified in town who knows the ins and outs of the finances than, than Mr. Pooler. So we're, um, we're really you know, fortunate to, to be working with him on those issues over the next year. I look forward to having a meeting with Mr. Pooler talking about uh, different aspects of the job and the relationship between the town manager's office and the select board. And um, I feel like, you know, we, it, it took us a while, but we're, we're in a good place and I look forward to working with you. Thank you. Mr. Corsi. All right. Um, Mr. Hurd. Yeah, I just wanna also thank Sandy for stepping up on relatively short notice to uh, fulfill the role, the vac vacant spot that we have here. And I don't think me and Sandy have had too much interaction in the past couple of years, but, um, but uh, I do look forward to meeting with him and talking a little more about what we see happening for the next year for the town. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hurd. Mr. Helmuth? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I, I would say congratulations, Mr. Town Manager. I think that the board chair needs to ask him to accept the offer before that's official, but I'm going to be presumptuous and hopeful that, that Sandy says yes. Uh, thank, thank you, Sandy, for stepping up. I know that, that this is taking on a whole other level of responsibility, and I think that's you know why I'm very happy that we are in this place, because I, I feel like the town will be in good hands for really important conversations um, and challenges that we have to engage with over the next 12 to 13 months. So I am grateful. I will take you up on your offer of meeting for lunch and I look forward to deepening the relationship that we've uh, begun to establish over the last few years. 
Thank you, Mr. Chair. Well, thank you for the for um, those instructions, Mr. Helmuth. Okay, so I am now going to ask Mr. Pooler to formally accept, and that'll give me a chance to say just a few more words. So, so Mr. Pooler, do you accept? Yes, I eagerly accept your offer. Thank you. You're welcome. And, and, and one thing that did become apparent from all of my conversations with you, Pete, is how much you really do care about the town, I mean, and, and you want uh, to work with the town. And so, so um, I, I sincerely, I know you sincere about that, and I, I definitely believe you. So, um, Mrs. Mahan. Sorry, there was one thing, and I didn't want to, I seem like, anyway. Uh, one of the other things that's really important to myself and the board, especially now in your role as town manager, and, and something that I'd like to just put as a request, um, it's also vi very important the relationship that our town manager has with all of our employees, including our unions. And regardless of whether there's an override in the spring of 23 or, uh, or 24, um, all of us having been through overrides and or debt exclusions, um, know that there's a, a really important relationship that needs to be established and um, flow of information and, and, and respect on flowing back and forth. Um, you know, not, I mean, we all want to work to the ultimate end, which is to make Arlington the best place it could be. But it's, uh, I know this board has demonstrated with, you know, the opera funding and premium pay for town employees. Um, it's also, it probably goes unsaid, but I just wanted to say it that um, also whatever you craft as the best um, pathway. Um, and I know you've had dealings with the um, unions in past and, and schedule employees. I know you and I have had a few conversations, um, but you're now <laughs> the town manager. And um, that's something uh, we, I just wanted to put before you. I'm not asking you for an answer on that tonight because you know you have a lot of other things to do and think about, but um, just as I, I think it's a good idea that you know uh, sitting down as town manager with department heads um, and getting that sort of new insight, I think the same, and you probably would agree, applies to um, all of our workers, department heads, and our town unions. And I, I apologize, I should have said that, but I was waiting. Thank you. That's quite all right, you know. So, so um. With that, I'm still done, you know, uh, and I'll just you know, ask Mr. Heim you know, if there are any other formalities to this process that you know, I need to. Um, Let me just thank, thank you, Mr. Chair. Let me just make sure I've recited the board's posture. Uh, the board had previously taken a vote to uh, essentially make an appointment pursuant uh, a contingent upon successful contract negotiations. Uh, it appears that those contract negotiations are successful. If the board agrees with that summary, then I think that we're all set. Okay, I, mean, I agree. You know, yep. I mean, I oh, see, Mr. Jacorsi. Oh, Mr. Jacorsi, do you want to say something? Yeah, and then this is just procedurally. I mean, I think the last thing we have to do is we have to get our signatures on the contract, and and that's something that we can work through with with Attorney Heim. Um, you know, perhaps as early as tomorrow for for at least three of us, and and for Mr. Pooler. Yes. I mean, I, I'll actually be there um, tomorrow morning for um, the send off event for Mr. Chatelain. So I'll work out, you know, so, okay. Thanks. Um, any, I, if we're all clear, I mean, I'm not in a rush to go. I just actually want to make sure that- I'll keep you adjourned. From Mr. Hurd and- I'll second that. Okay. And uh, uh, seems like the pair for tonight. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. so, so just, just to make it really hard on me, right? <laughs> so on a motion from Mr. Hurd and a second from Mr. Helmuth you know, to adjourn. Mr. Heim. I mean, I enjoy spending a lot of extra time with you guys, but uh, I think everybody will be okay with fewer meetings for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mr. Hurd. Yes. Mr. DeCourcy. Yes. Mr. Helmet. Yes. Mrs. Mahan. Yes, thank you. Mr. Diggins. Yes. It's an unanimous vote. And thanks again, everyone, for your patience earlier at the beginning of the meeting. Bye-bye. Take care.